Uh, hello all. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to clear the VTU ETR examination. What is ETR? It is nothing but eligibility text for research. So those who are willing to pursue PhD in VTU and a related university, uh, eligibility test is mandatory. Depends on the university. However, I'm focusing right now, I'm focusing on VTU. So there is one eligibility test every year they used to conduct it. Okay. So uh, if you follow the follow, if you follow the given instruction, surely you can clear the VTU ETR without any issues. So first of all, let me give the entire structure of the examination. Overall structure of the examination comprises of third part. First part, it comprises of research methodology and the mathematics, which carries 50 marks. Second part is actually discipline oriented. One uh, the I'm talking about EC and the telecommunication, electronics and communication and telecommunication engineering brands. Remaining also I'm going to explain later. So another part which carries the 50 marks. So here one criteria, uh, aptitude section that is included along with the part one and part two. Okay, so that is an integrated part. So that is actually the structure of the examination. I hope you understood how the structure of the examination will happen, uh, will be applicable for your uh, like uh, examination. This is the structure of the examination. So next I'm going to talk about most repeated and probable questions which you are supposed to give more weightage for the forthcoming examination. As I told you already that for part one is research methodology and mathematics. So you have to study the basics of research. What is the meaning of applied research? What is uh, fundamental research? If I talk about applied research, uh, it is a research which will help for solving the practical problems. Then features of a good research. Identify the features of good, uh, good research. Identify an old man out from the given list. Like that, I may get a, you may get a question. Uh, the features of good research are systematic, logical, and verifiable. What is type 1 error? This is very, very important. Rejecting the true null hypothesis. That is called a type 1 error. Uh, then what is type 0 error? Similarly, what is p-value? Probability of observing the data if null hypothesis is true. That is called a p-value. So one of the tip I can suggest you that type 1 error always that is equal to rejecting the true null. So these are the few important questions or few, few important topics I would like to suggest you for your forthcoming examination because there are chances of asking so many questions. Similarly, uh, probability and statistics, this is regarding ma mathematics, a few parties also included from uh, like a research methodology. If I talk about like a binomial distribution, fixed trials are there, there will be success or failure. There is an equation for binomial distribution. If I talk about like a Poisson distribution, it depends on like events, time and space. So the Poisson formula is also very popular. You can check out any one of the mathematical textbooks. Normal distribution, it's a bell-shaped curve. Uh, like a, we can talk about like a mean, me, median, mode, etc. If I talk about like a central limit theorem, so sampling means like a normal as the sample increases. If I talk about like a standard error, it is a standard deviation of sampling distribution. That is called a standard error. So you please go through these important topics. For example, one of the questions I can say that the number of occurrence of flight accidents, how to predict the number of occurrence of flight accidents. You can identify any one of the distribution. It is up to you. I'm going to open the question to everybody. If you know the answer, you can put the put up in the comment box. Otherwise, I'm going to help you out. Kindly put this word. Next is uh, like uh, ANOVA and uh, regression. Okay. So if I talk about ANOVA, like uh, it mainly includes based on one independent variable. What is F ratio between the variance by with uh, like between the variance and within the variance that is called F ratio. What is regression uh, like a uh, multi collinearity and a high correlated inputs. So you might have studied about the linear regression y is equal to mx plus b that ratio you can uh, that equation you can remember. Okay. There is a linear regression. There will be like a multiple regression. Okay. Machine learning also those who undergone the courses, you might have like understood those concepts. From the like a, a most repeated and questions from mathematics. So metrics, how to identify the rank of the metrics, how to identify the eigenvalue and eigenvectors. Uh, so remember the formula modulus of A minus lambda, lambda I is equal to zero regarding the calculus, computation of limits, differentiation basics and definite integrals. Laplace and Fourier transform basics. Laplace transform is a technique that is going to convert the time domain into S domain or a frequency domain. Probability. So study the Bayes theorem, binomial, normal distribution, etc. 
you focus on the standards all the problem from the bs agarwal you may get the question directly that's a speciality because from engineering mathematics uh, you will get questions directly so more there are there are many questions similarly network and signals study thevenin's theorem properly two port para two port network then dft fft property prop like that is also important linear time invariant stability like a bounded input by bounded output stable like a, like a bib stable if impulse response is absolutely summable so study the formula of set transform x of the is equal to 1 by 1 minus 8 a into set to the power minus 1 uh, like a, this is the condition okay so try to study uh, these formulas then electronics and devices study what is p and diode how does it work go for like a little bit application level so study the importance of transistor bias biasing okay you can study about voltage div div divider biasing similarly peak inverse voltage stability factor etc so what is scr uh, so silicon control rectifier which has low switching time for high frequency if i talk about like insulated gate bipolar transistor you may get like a uh, on period off period okay so those uh, like a uh, Switching characteristics as well as static characteristics should be remembered. What is solar cell? It's, it works based on the photovoltaic effect. Similarly, digit, from the digital electronics and microprocessors, we will be getting the following questions. Number of representation, 1s, 2s, and 1s complement, 2s complement, etc. What is Boolean simplification? How to draw the K map and how to simplify it? Uh, like a multiplexer based design. So like an adder. What is DRAM? Capacitor storage required for refreshing. That is specialty of DRAM. Similarly, H086. So it includes like a, a CS, CS agreement, XL80, then bidirectional data bus. Similarly, ARM support for both big and little, uh, like a Indian. So remember these points and proceed further. Another important topic is control system. Study first and second order responses. Study the impulse and uh, step responses. And study the concept of root locus and how to calculate the breakaway points using the like uh, uh, breakaway points using the like a body plot. Also, so uh, like breakaway points of like root locus. Similarly, study body plot. What is gain margin? What is phase margin? Gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency. Also, from the root locus, you should know how to calculate like a uh, uh, breakaway point, then centroid, all those things. Sir. Similarly, study the formula like how time domain specification TPC equal to pi by omega d relation between omega d and omega n. That means the damped frequency of oscillation and natural frequency of oscillation. Try to study all the concept. Similarly, from the power electronics also you will be getting the questions like uh, what is resonant converters? The purpose of resonant converters is to minimize the switching losses. What is control rectifier? So what is the overlapping angle? Those things. Similarly, what is AC voltage regulator? What is triode for alternating current triggering? Uh, all the things you can expect okay uh, co then quadrant chopper uh, chopper one quadrant two quadrant th three quadrant four quadrant or right. otherwise type a type p type c those choppers will be like one of the most important question for the university examination because it is a bit confusing uh, similarly from the communication theory and em theory study what is uh, antenna like uh, uh, focus on the stbw definition okay Similarly, uh, like uh, how to calculate the bandwidth, how to calculate the cut, cut off frequency. Okay, so those formulas you are supposed to remember. Regarding the skin depth, it is the like ratio of one divided by atten attenuation constant. So what is Maxwell equation? It includes differential and in integral form. Study those formulas and keep remembered because formulas may ask directly in your university examination as well as entrance examination. Uh, so now uh, let me summarize what I discussed. Let me have a, like a quick revision. So study type 1 error, it rejects the true hypothesis. If I talk about like a binomial, uh, that is normal if P is approximately equal to 0 0.5 and N is large, P is equal to 0 0.5, N is large. So that binomial and norm, no, normal distribution can be used. If I talk about like a, a poison distribution, it's a rare event. For example, flight accident, number of flight accident, that is we can calculate by using the uh, poison distribution. Thevenin's theorem, like the Thevenin network includes VTH and RTH. If I talk about the set transform, this is standard formula for the set transform. If I talk about like a peak inverse voltage of like uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, diode, PAV, that is 2VM minus VD. What is DRM? Example is capacitor. Example of uh, SRM is latch. If I talk about ANOVA, like a uh, 
a piece the variance ratio. If I talk about like a regression issue, it's a multi collinearity. Then control second order peak time that is equal to pi by omega d. So if you want, you can remember like uh, omega d is equal to omega n the square root of 1 minus theta square. So with respect to arm, it includes a big and little indium. So these are the important points you should uh, remember. Okay, so even equations also you can no make a note. Moving, moving further. Uh, so if I talk about like a, in a smart passing strategy, you have to follow the given steps. Step number one, focus on the research and attitude. Like making sure that you should get 40 to 45 out of 50. If I talk about like the second step, it is purely technical. So attempt to simple questions from digital and electronic basis and uh, so based on the direct solving problem, like a problem solving method. Step three, attempt the control and communication power electronics. Okay, so you can manage it. Step number four, use the previous answer key and study those questions. So simply don't read. If you simply read, it won't work out. Okay, you may forget in the time of examination. All the research scholars, like you should focus on this particular examination, those who wanted to do the research. So most repeated questions which I observed in the previous year question papers are applied research objectives and the practical problem solving. So type one error and a definition, binomial and Poisson's usage. Uh, next is standard error meaning then ANOVA assumptions, uh, Thevenin's equivalent, DRAM working principle, multiplexer as an adder or carry, then ARM NDM support, SCR high frequency parameters, then photovoltaic effect, resin convert, etc. Those things are very, very important. So you can keep this point in your mind. So let me know if you have any queries. You can uh, make a note, short note. So that is a major thing. So topic wise, you can make a short note. Uh, remember all the formulas which are associated with the topic because there are so many formulas. Kindly remember those equations. Okay. So I wish you all the very best to all the research scholars. So do well and uh, try to clear the ETR at the earliest that you can start your research work. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Wish you all the very best.